Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you a trick on how you can access all the workflows that are created uh, within your organization using Power Automate application. Um, so uh, here's the situation, right? As users uh, start creating workflows on uh, document libraries and uh, custom lists uh, and other applications you have within Office 365, uh, they end up creating lots and lots of workflows. Uh, and obviously, whoever creates the workflow becomes the owner uh, of the workflow. And uh, the, you, the, only those users can modify them and make adjustments, etc. And obviously, if you, for example, created a workflow, if a particular user created a workflow, right, um, you know, you, you can just go to Power Automate and um, essentially, uh, you know, click on my workflows and see the workflows that either you created uh, or maybe you created and, uh, you know, with uh, someone else and you share the ownership of those uh, of those workflows. Uh, with that being said, you know, this screen will only show you the workflows you created personally, right? Um, now, here's a situation. Let's say someone created a workflow and maybe they left the organization, right? So you kind of need to overtake, uh, you know, the workflow and essentially need to become the owner of it. And let me show you a trick on how to do that. Uh, in order for this uh, to happen, what you need to do, you need to navigate to the admin center. Obviously, you need to be an Office 365 uh, global admin to do that. So here we go. We go to the admin portal. All right. And then from here, we navigate to all admin centers. And over here, we choose Power Automate. So we are within the Power Automate admin center. Uh, you will get to see a few environments here. The one you want uh, is this one. All right. Uh, it would say uh, you don't want, obviously, the test environment or the preview one. So the one you want is uh, this one, the production one. Here we go. Just click. All right. And let's see what we have going on here. So if you click on flows, next you need to hit on flows. That's what we're after, right? Here we go. And you will get to see a list of all the workflows. Now, it's a bit annoying here because, look, if I sort it, it seems like the last time I created the, the workflow uh, you know, was in April of 2020. Um, but I know I had some more recent workflows. I know that for a fact. So uh, what you need to do, you kind of need to load them all. So you need to scroll down. All right, need to load them all. Let's do that. Here we go. OK. Uh, I think that should do it. Here we go. And now I can, you know, I can, I can uh, sort it by modified date. Let's see. Here we go. Um, some of the most recent workflows I created now show up in here as well. And if you notice over here, it shows you who the owner is. Uh, in, you know, obviously, yeah, because the, I'm the admin of my environment, I created most of them. But look at this. Here's the one Mary uh, created. All right. And what this allows you to do. Uh, it allows you to pretty much, you know, become the owner. Let's let's just say that Mary uh, left the organization, right? Um, you maybe disabled uh, the user ID, etc. So then, in that case, what you you can do is um, you can just uh, become the owner of the uh, of that particular workflow. Here's how you do it: you just click on three dots, say share, and I'm going to uh, add uh, my name to it over here. Perfect. So now I will be able to uh, essentially, essentially this workflow will show up um, uh, in my, uh, uh, you know, Power Automate screen when I when I go, when I go there. All right. Uh, so this is a great way to uh, obviously see uh, all the workflows that your users create in your environment, and um, you know you can also, uh, in addition to uh, you know taking the ownership of them, you can disable them, right? Uh, if there is something you know you need to stop urgently or maybe even delete it. All right. So, uh, uh, so essentially, uh, this is what uh, you can do here from the admin center. All right, that's all I wanted uh, to show you today. Hopefully, you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.